Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So, I assume you've all seen this video here by now. I've talked about it numerous times and you guys know I can't wait to get my hands on this Daughters of Cain release. We saw this model here, which we all know by now is Marathi, and then I was saying that we were going to have two forms of her. The other one being the tease that we got right at the end of this video. We didn't see much of her, but to be honest, that's the best view you get right at the start because they're covering it all up. All you did see were these huge wings, her spear, which was exactly the same design as her model on foot. And right at the beginning, you saw this snake-like body wrapped around a huge pillar. Loads of you guys were theorizing down in the comments to my reveal video that this was actually going to be Malarion and there was a part of me that thought should I make another video discussing whether this is likely to be Malarion and then I just thought no I'm sticking with my guns I really do not think this is Malarion and it turns out I was right because we have now had this new article appear on the Warhammer community website which finally shows us the snake form of Marathi. To be honest this video is going to be super quick because really I just want to show you the artwork which you will have seen by now in my thumbnail anyway but they basically uploaded this little Valentine's Day tale. It's called The Tragedy of the Prince and the Serpent. It's pretty goofy and fairy tale like as you'd expect, but basically it's the tale of Alwyn the Wise who was a prince looking for a bride and he's riding around slaying demons and his quest leads him to Algu, the realm of shadows. And there he bumps into a hermit who says, oh, you're looking for a bride? Well, I know where you can find loads of those. You will want to go and find the daughters of Cain who are in Hagnar. She knows that she is sending him to his death because let's face it, we know that this is not gonna end well. Off he rides to look for his bride and he reaches Hagnar, the gate seal behind him. He rides straight into Marathi's throne room and doesn't notice the gigantic wings behind her or the snakes in her hair. He pulls out a ring, asks her to marry him and she says, actually I've got other plans for you. And as you'd expect for someone who worships the god of murder, she decides to pull out a knife and literally chop out his heart. So I guess it's a nice literal example of someone having their heart broken on Valentine's Day. She then makes a speech to the daughters of Cain saying your god is murder, drink this fool's blood, unleash holy mayhem, the realms are ours, we need but just take them. So hopefully that is telling us a little bit more about Marathi and her aims, clearly she wants to take over the realms. Yep and that is pretty much how the story ends with a little message saying not to look in her eyes and I'm guessing that is going to feature into her war scroll and her abilities on the tabletop somehow. And then the best bit of all is the little bit of artwork we get to see, let me whack this into full screen. And here we have it, the cool bit of artwork that's just been released showing Marathi in all of her snake-like glory. To be honest, this has been a really cool piece of artwork. I know it's only a small update of news, but it does tell us exactly who that figure is gonna be, and it tells us we're probably gonna get an 80 plus pound kit of Marathi. I mean, based on the artwork alone, it looks absolutely incredible, and I really, really want this kit. So yeah, guys, let me know down below if you're excited about the artwork and the kit that we will get from Marathi. I still have no idea how her transformation is going to work on the tabletop. I know it's only a bit of artwork, but based on this picture, I'm very excited about the model we're going to get. Combine that with the little teaser we saw, and we know it's going to be an awesome model. I imagine it's probably going to be around the 85, 90 pound mark, so it's going to be expensive, but probably absolutely huge and highly detailed, so well worth it for anyone who is a particular fan of Daughters of Cain. I can't wait to get my hands on the battle tome and all the new rules and artwork. To be honest, I always get ridiculously excited over things as silly as artwork, but the fans on my computer keep going absolutely into overdrive, so I'm going to end this video here. I think because we've got the fire light, this room is just way too hot for it to cope. But yep, yeah, just let me know down below if you are as excited about this figure as I am. I think it looks absolutely incredible and I just can't wait to get my hands on it. I'm also in the process of writing like a little background information on Marathi. So if you guys are interested in a video where I just tell you a little bit more about who this character is, 
I'm kind of planning to write it, but I'm only halfway through and I wasn't really sure about whether I should bring it out or not. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below and I will make sure that actually comes out. But anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. You can support me on Patreon. The link is in the description and I will see you guys really soon in the next video.